Hey, Yoda Force, we're up here at Flagstaff, Arizona at the Overland Expo West. Man, the story about this thing is crazy. Met these people that own this thing two years ago here, bone stock, decide they want us to build out their truck. They say, we want to get crazy on this thing. They want to send this thing. Never believe this, it's crazy. So they bring this thing to us, bone stock, it's got a white top on it. It's got silver mirrors, silver bumpers, everything. Had chrome American racing wheels on it when they brought it to us. So I'm like, we cannot build this thing up like this. I mean, this thing needs a transformation, like no tomorrow. So they bring it to us, they say, what do you want to do? They said, I don't care what you do to it, just do something great. And I said, okay, let's get going. So this has a Magnuson supercharger. And obviously with these tires on it, it needs the extra power. So we put the extra power underneath the hood on this thing. It's got 35s on it now. And with this blower, you can't even tell that it even has 35s on it, the way it runs now, it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna show you some things on this thing that obviously we find very important and we think are really cool, just features that we've done to this thing. We wanted to try to keep the front of this thing super light, so what we did is, we looked at bumpers, some of the bumpers that were out there are super heavy and obviously we're trying to take weight into consideration when we were building this thing. So we decided we were gonna use the factory bumper cap because the bumper is so tall here from the bottom of the grill to the bottom to fill that gap is gonna take a lot. So we decided, hey, we'll use the factory bumper on this thing. So what we did is we built this crossbar here with our signature bottle openers in the end here. These are the 360 series and the six inch lights on this thing. Uh, obviously it's got tons of light power now. And we also decided we were gonna run some, take the end caps off. And with that, we were gonna build some custom aluminum trims in here and run the exact same light in the front to tie everything in in the front of this truck. On this truck, we kind of started off with long travel. We knew right away that these people were gonna go out and get after it with this truck to, to like the highest degree. They actually had a forerunner that we built up prior to this and they started sending me pictures that they were gonna go out and jump this thing. And they literally send me pictures in their forum and they're jumping it. And I said, you know what, you can't be jumping this thing with the suspension on, I get it. It's got full suspension, mid-travel on it, but you're gonna bend this truck. And they said, well, we need you to build something you, that we can take out and jump. So what we did is we, we got into the suspension on this truck and we did a set of Camberg Uniball upper control arms. We did a set of Camberg axles in this thing. Um, we did Camberg's lower control arms in this thing. We basically widened the truck in the front about three and a half inches in this truck. So we basically ran the King uh, 2.5s with the reservoirs with adjusters. And then on top of that, we decided to run a 2.5 bypass truck on this. And then to tie it in the rear, we basically, I'll show you the rear on this. We did a 2.5 with reservoirs, with adjusters on the shafts on this. And then we did the uh, sway bar end links on this just to beef it up. We did the Icon lower trailing arms on this with the adjustable links on it. This truck has actually had these arms added to this truck after because we've learned from some of the things that they've done and bent and ruined on this truck that we needed to reinforce. They actually uh, had hit a rock when they're out on one of the trails going pretty fast, about 70 and actually exploded the front wheel. And so we knew at that point that we needed to reinforce some other things in the truck. The rock impacted the front wheel, exploded it. The rock bounced up, actually hit our sliders here and actually bent up into the body of the truck, which it did its job. It protected the car, which was great. Um, but then it actually went down and it actually hit the lower trailing arm here and bent it. And that's when we knew that we needed to do lower trailing arms on this that were gonna hold up even better. They actually bent the rear wheel and blew the tire out on that one too. We actually, I'll show you when we get around the back on this thing, we actually have the rear tire on this as a spare for backup for now. But uh, yeah, they are pretty hard on this. I'll take you around the back. Um, obviously I talked about, we painted the roof on this, painted the door handles black and the bumper caps black on this. It does have our tire relocation kit in it with our camera relocation kit, which uses the factory camera on this. Um, like I said, when we were around the side, I was talking about how they bent the wheel. You can actually see the wheel bend here. And this is the rear wheel. So you can imagine what the front wheel looked like. And that's the rear one. We got the tire up with our relocation kit off the back of the bumper here. The back window still opens on this truck as well. We needed more wheel well space on this truck. So what we did is we eliminated the fender trim around both the wheel wells on this and we handmade all these inner fender liners on this truck. This fender liner on this truck is all aluminum. All, all the way here, we actually hand bent all this aluminum and actually shaped it. And even this piece right here, we even molded this. This is all aluminum. 
and it's all, we made it all by hand and then we powder coated it. So we wanted to look as close to factory as possible when we did this on this truck. Our whole motto at our company is to build the highest quality parts as possible on the market. We want you to look at it and say, did that come like that? It looks like it could have come like that. So that's been our whole motto with everything we do. This roof rack on this truck, you can see how tight it, the line is on it and it follows the roof line here. And we are minimal on some of the holes on it. And the reason for that is because when the air goes by the side of the car, we wanna to try to keep the air moving across the side of the car. And we don't want it to get up underneath the roof rack for any kind of wind noise or anything like that. It is a modular roof rack, so these bars can be relocated either up or down or side to side to accommodate whatever you're wanting to do with the truck. There's actually a, a way here in Phoenix, they call it the back way to Crown King. And most, most people will take this trail and it's about a four hour trip to back way to Crown King. These people do it in about an hour and 54 minutes in this thing. I mean, when you talk about send it, they send it. Like send it like you wouldn't believe they send it. We met these people here two years ago and since then we bought, built two trucks for them and this is the, probably the ultimate one we've probably built and that's why we wanted to share with you guys while we're here at the Overland Expo. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned and watch for new stuff.